Oh, idioms. Yeah, idioms. Great. Let's have a look at some idioms. Can you guess these idioms? So I'm going to show you four pictures and I'd like you in your um, in your chat, our chat, <laughs> to tell me what you think the idiom is. OK, are you ready? Can you guess the idioms? Not this one. Let me put the picture up here. Where are we? Idiom pictures. They are here. Here's the first one. What do you think this idiom is? Very nice cup. Thank you, Ernesto and Christine. <laughs> Cheers, Joanna. We've got two minds are better than one. That's a good one, actually, a very good one, but not here. We are in the same boat. It's also a good one, but not here. Anyone else? Let me put on a bit of music as I share your ideas. UA, very clever. Ah. Uh -huh. Two hands are better than one. Hand in glove, interesting. Many hands make light work. That's kind of a proverb, right? It's been the same when. Go hand in hand. We're on the same page. Wow, okay. Hands in hands. <laughs> the sky is the limit. Oh, I like that. No national barriers. Lovely. What is the verb, Luati says? What's the verb? Um, the verb is to work. <laughs> to work. Ba, 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 ba. Great picture. AI generated. Thank you. Two is better than one. Two hands are better than one. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um, okay, lots of fantastic ideas. The answer for this one, let me just switch. Um, is actually I'm going to switch back just a moment because I don't want to reveal all the answers at the same time <clears throat> to work hand in hand right to work hand in hand if you look carefully hey where's it gone <laughs> where's it gone you can see people working right at the at the bottom people going to work people going to work hand in hand to work hand in hand. Um, I love some of the other ones you've got there. Two heads are better than one. That was a nice one. There was some others that you said. Oh, by the way, it's hand in hand. It's singular, right? Somebody said many hands. I think it was Dorsa. Many hands make light work. That's actually a proverb, but it's still idiomatic. Absolutely. Many hands make light work. Many hands make it easier, right? Um, the sky is the limit. I mean, that's nice as well because there is the sky in there. The sky is the limit. We're going to end up with a lot more, aren't we, than, t than four idioms. That then was the first idiom. Um, Let's look at number two. Here we go. Number two. What do you think? Two hand or two head? Two heads. Two heads are better than one. That's the proverb. Yeah. What's this one all about? To play ball. Very good idea. Many hands make light work. Hand in hand, hand in glove. 
love. Uh, any more ideas? Have a middle stone round your neck. Can't go far. Dead weight. That's interesting. Dead weight. Yeah. Somebody is dead weight. Chloe. Nice. <laughs> Mission impossible. Take the bull by the horns. I can't see any bull, but it's a lovely expression. Yes, Jung, that sounds like a description rather than idiom. Keith, the sky's the limit means loan limit. Correct. Abdi Fatah, perfect, perfect. Pull harder. Pull through. These are good phrasal verbs. Without others, we are non. Interesting. Carrying the hard work to push a heavy stone. Okay, interesting. Okay, some very, very good ideas there. Let me bring up the number two for you. It's over here. Where is it? It's over here. To pull your weight. Okay, to pull your weight. So just to go back there, you can see this guy is pulling a big weight. It's his weight. It belongs to him. So it's to pull your weight, meaning to work as hard as others in a group, right? You can say, for example, I don't like working with Jane. She never pulls her weight. So it's sometimes... It's often used in the negative, right? He doesn't pull his weight. She doesn't pull her weight. Um, she doesn't work as hard as others, right? Basically. Um, a dead weight. Dead weight is... is so dead weight is... Um, Uh, unnecessary what's the best way to describe it a dead weight unnecessary people or things uh, so dead weight maybe in a project you've got some people who are not pulling their weight they don't do any work you can say they are dead weight they pull you down they're not necessary so in a project sometimes you have to get rid of the dead weight you have to throw away the dead weight. Especially in a team or project. It's an interesting expression, that one. Uh, pull your weight, carry your weight on your shoulders. Yes. Let's try your best. Not exactly, not your best. Pulling your weight is just doing your responsibility. Um, so it's not really that you're doing your best or doing a lot in fact it's just doing the minimum doing what you should do carry out your responsibilities to pull your weight okay let's have a look at the third one the third one is up here where is the third one? Not that one. We've done that one. Pulling your weight. Third one is a good one for you mathematicians. Ready? Let's have a look. Let's see what you think. Yeah, Lung, very good. A dead weight is a lazy person or a liability. That's a very good description. Exactly. Pull together, uh, maybe. Adversity is good. Ah, C, I to I. <laughs> well done, Brian. Yeah, I'm going to stop you there because that's that's a quick and easy one, right? C, although it's a different spelling, 
eye to eye. It's kind of one to get you thinking, right? To see eye to eye. Of course, the sea I had was <clears throat> the sea. The ocean is the sea, but it's a homophobe. Same pronunciation. To see eye to eye, to agree. <clears throat> you know, I don't always see eye to eye with my colleagues. <clears throat> but useful for teamwork, right? To see eye to eye. Which means, as Carolina says, have the same point of view. There's another similar expression that somebody said earlier to be on the same page means to have the same idea about something it's also a similar expression and a nice one it's an idiomatic expression see eye to eye great number four thanks carolina number four if i can just pull it in where's number four this is number four. Ready? The last one. <laughs> Sink or swim, maybe. Very, very close. Ah. Well done, Joanna. <laughs> Miss the boat is an interesting one. On the same boat, sink together, all hands on deck. the same boat on the same boat on the same boat <clears throat> mm. hands on board <clears throat> boat hands more like teamwork all hands on deck okay very very interesting some interesting expressions there <clears throat> let's bring you in all hands on deck that was it right all hands on deck means everyone in the team needs to contribute okay <clears throat> this is a big project all hands so the hands is the people right we need all hands on deck the deck is the boat it's it's the top of the boat well the floor of the boat <clears throat> what you stand on so the idea that when you're on the boat, if everybody comes from downstairs onto the deck to start working, it's a big project. We need all hands on deck, for example, right? <clears throat> um, all hands on deck. There is the expression, some of you said, to be in the same boat, which is not the same, but it's a good expression. Um, you're in the same situation. So for example, all of you guys, well, some of you guys are preparing for IELTS. You're in the same boat, right? You're all in the same boat. All of you want to improve your English. You're in the same boat, okay? Why this is a deck instead of a boat. So a deck is the part of the boat. Um, if I just go back, so this is Christine's question. Why is this a deck instead of a boat? The boat is all of it. The deck is the top where you stand, right? Um, I tried to look for a... <laughs> I did try to look for a good um, a thingy. A good thingy? A good image, but it's really hard. If I go to Google... I'll come over to Google. Now, the deck in a house... Is, is outside where it's this. It's where you have a porch 
and it's where you stand, right? It's kind of the outside, it's the deck. It's the floor outside. Deck on a boat. Get a better picture? It's so it's this, right? It's the it's the floor of the boat where you stand to work on the boat. That is the deck. Fishing boat deck. That's the deck. It's basically the floor that you stand on in the boat. Good. The deck. <laughs> nice. Hit the deck. Lots of expressions. Lots of sailing and boat expressions in English. An awful lot. Um, so those are idioms. Some great idioms. There's one other I was going to add, which is related to um, teamwork. To put your heads together. To put your heads together. To work closely and share ideas. So sometimes the team leader will say, I need you to put your heads together and think together. Great. OK, excellent. And that is our work on idioms. Excellent. I need more water. 